Two Truths and a Lie, a game that you play as an icebreaker for new groups in summer camps. It is the game you can never really give three great examples at the time, but a few hours after you play, you tell yourself, why didn't I think of that? Okay, so number one, I earned 100 merit badges as a boy scout and the most in my troop. Two, my college graduation took place in the same event center where Elvis performed on the 4th of July in 1976. And finally, three, I have a pair of shoes that have been to Disney World, then to Disneyland, and then back to Disney World again. Well, although I earned the rank of Life Scout and was a three-time mile swimmer, I never earned 100 merit badges. Elvis did play on the Bicentennial of America at the Maybe Center on the 4th of July in 1976. And I have been blessed to travel all over the U.S. these past few years, including to the Disney theme parks. I'm a person who likes to travel light with my luggage. And while shoelaces are fine for hiking and dress boots, I do not like laces. I like to travel without that fear. That is one of my quirks. Laces hinder me sometimes. And sometimes we feel like we are ashamed of our quirks and we feel tied down. I've also learned the joys that some may consider everyday life. I went on my first flight in over 20 years in 2019. The thrill of taking flight is special to me. Now, not everyone feels that way. You may have a job where you fly on those aircrafts daily or multiple times a day. But for me, that is one of my quirks that I have and enjoy. When you go on a flight, where is everyone going? When the plane lands, is that city their destination? Will this be someone's final flight? Sometimes we ignore the simple transitions in life, like driving to work and seeing the beauty all around us. Have you ever traveled down a road and wondered, who built these? After living through closed off environments, I can say that I have a new appreciation for the small things. Sometimes when you have time to think, you can organize your thoughts in the best way possible to display them. Sometimes you never know where the next adventure lies. Even if you can't book a flight or train, just go for a ride in your car. Though there are days, and I have many of them, where I don't enjoy the small things, like a piece of tree bark on the ledge of a window and how it got there. Come along and let me take you on a ride. One of my quirks I have recently grown to love is travel. Now I've always enjoyed camping outside, but going from hotel to hotel and seeing new sights is a joy I can't explain. From the beautiful palm trees of San Diego to the mountains of Vermont. From the streets filled with history. To the hills that are alive. From a world of possibilities. to reality. From palm trees and coasts to canyons low. From the birds on the land the ones who dare to venture. From the city of known to those lost to us. From the sights we can see day or night to the ones that are once in a lifetime from street performers to 
the structures. Our world is amazing. Our nation has wonders. Art is all around us. Like these sights and sounds, you are a quirk of art. I like boba. I like my Nikes. I like trying new foods. I was born in New Mexico. I like late night movies with mini powdered sugar donuts. I like my pizza with black olives and pineapple. I like having footwear without laces. These quirks about us are the things that make up parts of you. The beauty is all around us. The world can be vast and small all at the same time. There's a beautiful world out there. And whoever is watching or listening, I really hope that you have brighter days ahead. Not because I'm saying you deserve it, but because living in fear is no way to live. So show the world that you are created uniquely with a purpose. Your quirks are a gift. It is your choice on how to use them. Sometimes, it's not the destination or the journey, it's those who you go with that make the adventure worthwhile. Thank you.